Hi, you're Greasy Steve. I like how you didn't phrase that as a question. You're a cool customer, kid. I get what Donnie Thesaurus sees in you. Put her there. He wipes his hand on his lapel and offers you a handshake. You take it with a grimace and your hand immediately slides out of his grip. Gross. Now here's the deal. We've got some, what you might call, dirty meat, see? And we gotta get it laundered. Hello everyone, my name is ASDF, welcome back to Shadows Over Loathing, and we have the side quest menu because eh, some of these it's been a little while, and we need to get to them eventually, so we're gonna head over to SIT, uh, because Dawn wants us to, I don't know, meet Greasy Steve at Fish and Chips, something like that, but uh, there's a couple other things that we might be able to do, maybe we can fish now that it's a different day. Um, first things first though, we just woke up, which means we need to eat, we need to drink, and we need to take a potion. Uh, those three things. Also, I want to check out this new shop that we got. So, uh, hi Dan, right back at you, baby. What's new? Here's your cut of the profits, baby. I found this crate of bass oil. I don't think the people are going to like this very much, but you're the boss. Okay, so we'll do gin for the mysticality, and then... Oh, three sleaze armors. Interesting. That would be better than one max AP. So let's do bass oil. Gin and bass oil. Sounds great. Uh, you got cocktailed. All right, so we'll leave and then look at our inventory real quick. Let's look for some food. Swamp mushroom. No, but I want one of the things that came from the swamp. Was it? We could do pollo diavola. Was there nothing else that did like more magic damage? Um, I don't want to eat the shadow food. So okay, we'll do. Oh, Mobius cookie. Shadow salad. Shadow salad. Now we don't have very many of those. We have a lot of these. So we'll do that because then I don't mind eating a food or drinking a potion over the top of that. So 11 and 1 oil, swamp gas. We'll inhale it. We can go get more of that. So, all right, we now have a lot of magic damage stacked. Did we just get Latab? I don't think we just got Latab for physical damage to all enemies. That's better. Than a rolling pin. Deal mysticality, 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 mysticality. This is better than our rolling pin. Oh, you know we're gonna upgrade it. Look, our Dobo rolling pin does two physical damage to all enemies. The wear on it never is never gonna get to 15. What's up, Yoshi? XP, XP, XP. Um, yeah, dude, this is just better. This is just this is just better by a lot. Well, I mean, it's double, and it won't actually affect our damage that much. But let's do this deal. Um, do we have any upgrades to weapons? I feel like we do, right? Wooden handle, uh, grease gun, no, gun parts, no. There were some, like, upgrades that we could have gotten to weapons that would increase it by a little bit. Oh, increase the damage by one. So we'll attach... Unfortunately, the weapon you're using won't benefit. I bet we'd have to turn it into a melee weapon and then add that and then turn it back into a wand. So I guess we won't do that. Oh, sharpening stone, maybe. I just saw that right at the end. Add one bonus damage to a weapon. Nope, won't do that either. So the chunk of lead and the sharpening stone wouldn't help with the sieve. But I don't think it was Lot's Hob. I think it was something else that moved in. We've been to the bakery. Oh, the jewelry. That's right. Okay. BRB need water. I just filled up my water. Hi, my name's ASDF. Hello, I'm Dorothy Rodkin. If you want a ring or amulet or whatever, old Dottie Rods will fix it right up. Cool. What do you have for sale? One Mysticality. One Mysticality. One Moxie. One Moxie. Why would I get just this when I can get the obviously better one? You can use two additional combat items. Heals you and your allies for one HP every round. Um, oh, three spooky and sleaze armor is good. And I'm going to get the earrings. It's better to have things that we could equip to buff our stats instead of consumables. At least that's how I see it. So we'll head over to SIT campus. And we need to go to fission ships. Right? You turn a corner and encounter a very weird sight, and yes, I'm aware that your tolerance for things being weird is already pretty high at this point. There are three shadows here, this time in the shape of little people. They seem to be groveling and praying and twitching before fourth little shadow figure. Oh, I didn't turn my music off. Sorry about that. Um, you're overthinking it for sure. 
Okay, we will increase my mysticality for one. And then we'll buff, we'll summon, we'll buff stats, and then we'll hit him with the sieve. Oh, it only did five HP. Wow, these guys are really strong. They're really strong. Okay. Uh, what's up? What's up, Yoshi? Redeemed Hydrate? Thank you. All right, I took two gulps for you. For the two Hydrates. Wow, these guys are really, really strong. I don't like this. Oh, Buzz should have healed himself. Okay. Um, boy. Well, he'll take six fire damage. Holy moly. Wow. Okay, Buzz grows stronger. One to all stats. That was a tough fight. Nine muscle. How much do we have? We have eight muscle. Right? Um, what do we have as our accessory? Plus one muscle. The friendship ring we can change for... Is there anything that does muscle? That's a combat thing. No, 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 no. Okay, what about the boots? Nope. What about the pants? Only plus one mysticality on the pants. So how about one muscle instead? We got a diving helmet. Let's you breathe underwater. Wait, we needed that for something. I think we needed it for one of the SIT quests. I don't remember. So, okay, fission ships. We're looking for Greasy Steve. The guy is uh, glumly picking at a plate of food. Hi there, something wrong? Ah, uh, well, I just moved out here for school and this food is... I mean, it's fine, but it just isn't like what we had back home. What's different about it? My dad worked at a barbecue sauce factory, so everything we ate was smothered in barbecue sauce. I thought I was ready for a few new experiences at college, but I'm still homesick. I can relate. Uh, for me, it was maple syrup. <clears throat> Maybe I can help? Wow, really? That'd be swell. He pulls a little paper cup out of his pocket and hands it to you. There's gotta be some barbecue sauce somewhere on the campus, right? It's 1928 after all. Empty sauce cups. You carry sauce cups around with you? Yeah, well, like I said, barbecue sauce is really important part of my identity. Well, then I'll see what I can do. Uh, Floyd. Floyd Carbuncle. I'll see what I can do, Floyd. Okay. What's this thing on the wall? Grid explains what kinds of things are not are and are not sandwiches. It's surprising how often it airs on the side of sandwich. I mean, a lot of things are sandwiches. Okay, let's talk to this guy. You okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, just... Since all the students are gone, there practically hasn't been anyone in here except for that one guy gorging himself. Who is he? I don't know, but he's in here every day, all day, and he's always eating. Sometimes the other guy in suits come in and they whisper together all shifty-like for a minute. And then the other guys leave and this guy keeps eating. It's freaking me out. What do they talk about? Look, buddy, I'm just working here part-time to pay my way through college, which in 1928 is completely feasible. I'm not getting involved in whatever that guy's deal is. Okay, I see. Extra spicy cocktail sauce. Um, we'll buy it. Why not? Increases muscle by one? Sure. Yeah, okay. Uh, hot dogs style and taco style. They're all sandwiches. They're all sandwiches. Hurlet at enemy. Yeah, we want one of those. Great. It's good to have at least one of everything, just in case you need it. Hi, you're Greasy Steve. I like how you didn't phrase that as a question. You're a cool customer, kid. I get what Donny Thesaurus sees in you. Put her there. He wipes his hand on his lapel and offers you a handshake. You take it with a grimace and your hand immediately slides out of his grip. Gross. Now here's the deal. We've got some, what you might call, dirty meat, see? And we gotta get it laundered. Meat laundering? I don't know much about that. Ah, it's easy. The only tricky part is you gotta find a way into SIT's laundry room to do it. Oh, we already know the way in. Um, yeah, and account of how it's a steam laundry, and only a steam laundry is going to be powerful enough to clean this particularly dirty meat. Pass you a sack under the table and you take a look inside. Ugh. Yeah, I can see that you see what I mean. Anyway, get that cleaned up and bring it back to me and you'll get your payment. He pats a briefcase sitting next to his chair. What if I just keep the meat in the bag? Then I won't get more quests from the dawn. I get it. A sad looking hobo selling pencils. You seem down, not getting any business? Nope. I thought this was a real good plan too. College kids always need pencils, right? But I can't sell a dang one of these things. They get this mean look on their faces too, a sort of pitying sneer, like they think I'm super dumb and these must be dumb pencils that only write dumb answers or something. Well that's no good. He glumly looks at you at the sidewalk and rattles into his, his mug of pencils at you. The mug has I'm with stupid printed on it with an arrow pointing toward the handle. Well, I want one. The pen is mightier than the sword, but the pencil is greater than the sun and the stars. The pen is pathetic in comparison. Thanks. Okay, we should tell him about... We should ask him about hobo code. 
Do you have any hobo codes to share? Ah, uh, you probably wouldn't want any hobo code I could give you. It'd probably be dumb and wrong. I'd probably mix up the one that means free pie here with the one that means bottomless pit or something. Jeez, man. Here, maybe try this SIT mug instead. Maybe that'll convince the students that you're smart. Say, that just might work. Thanks, here, I'll swap you. Reduce all combat's, uh, combatants' mysticality by your moxie once per fight. Eh. Um, now that he's happy, maybe he'll teach me code. Why, certainly. Yeah, okay, cool. And then, thanks for the help as soon as the kids get back. Um, what does this pencil do? No, it's still, it's still the same. Okay. I guess we'll head back to campus. We'll go to Rufus's lab underground, because that's how we get to the steam room. Um, we got a shadow clarinet. Okay, nice. 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 Okay. Greenhouse access we don't need. Laundry room. Boom, we're already in. Steam powered. This hood dryer clothes way faster than boiling them. We'll launder the meat. You don't want to look at that gross, filthy meat again, so you just throw the whole thing into the machine and start the wash cycle. You wait. The machine continues to launder the meat. You continue waiting. You continue waiting. You twiddle your thumbs for a while. Keep waiting. You continue waiting. You don't know how much longer you can take this. It's quite boring. It's like watching grass grow, but there's no breeze. It's like watching paint dry, but less interesting. It's quite boring. You twiddle your thumbs for a while. It's extremely boring. It's very boring. It's very boring. It's quite boring. You watch the meat spin around for a while, but it makes you too dizzy. All right, we'll skip to the end. We got a bag of laundered meat. Uh, I guess we don't need to dry the meat. So barbecue wing maintenance access. Well, we need to get in here. It's painted shut from this side. Massive steam powered freezer. Okay, so there's a barbecue wing. Probably in the scalar wing. We'll check it. Well, I'm not gonna fight the shapes. Security. Okay, so we need to go to the spider wing real quick and get the dentures from behind here. Oh, five spooky armor. What do we have that does spooky armor? Um, okay, we'll equip the accessory. Three spooky armor. Hopefully that's enough. Well, this will be enough for sure, so. Boom, we got the teeth. You're, you steal your nerves and reach for the teeth. The spider is motionless. The spider remains motionless as you grab the teeth and continues to remain motionless until you wrench the teeth out of its mouth, at which point it crumbles to dust. Oh yeah, there was a giant spider wearing a guy's dentures with human teeth. You got the janitor's dentures. Uh, take them back to the only person who could want them. Apparently it wasn't a live spider after all, but a molted spider's skin. The spider's gonna be really annoyed with himself when he realizes he left his teeth in his other skin. What an embarrassing mistake. Okay, we'll equip our... Oh, that's an equipable thing. Okay, well if we get to something that says like, you probably can't breathe underwater, we'll just equip it real quick. So, we need the creepy glorious tiara, and we need the monster sash, because it gives plus one to all stats, which is quite nice. We needed that, and then we needed to go to the barbecue wing. So, well, we'll give him his teeth back. Found your dentures. It's a pretty awful experience. Well, now, thank you kindly. Oh, jeez, you're just going to pop them in without wiping them off? I'll gargle some mouthwash later. Uh, oh, barbecue. Um, barbecue wing. Barbecue wing. Hey, I used to keep my lunch in the freezer in the frozen foods room there. Why'd you stop? Door got wedged shut somehow. Only way to get there now is to go through the steam tunnels. Ain't much point to keep a lunch in a freezer if you're gonna care. Okay. That didn't help us, though. We've already asked about that. I do remember. So, I have a feeling we go to theoretical topology. Lab number three? Oh. Nice. Okay. I get it. Um... A nasty mop. Yay! Photo of a bare-necked pinup girl. Scandalous. Can't be showing your neck, ladies. That's scandalous. Um, okay, we can't get in there. And this is not barbecue sauce. So we will go to the vector wing. No, I'm not. I'm not. Okay, well, we'll fight these guys. I don't think we need to do anything. I think we'll just, just smack them. We'll strain them. Oh, I should have done something. Oh no. Oh, we're gonna have a lot of bats attack. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, we're gonna get extra stats. Actually, if we lose a bunch of fights, I think four fights you can lose and you get extra stats. We just got plus one muscle. Barbecue wing is in this side. We need to go to finest snouts. It's concentrating on cooking. 
We, um, protective gear recommended. So that's how we got there in the first place. Frozen food is shut. And Fizz Ed doesn't help us. Okay. I thought maybe there'd be barbecue sauce there, but it's probably somewhere else. So now we're headed to... Uh, we're headed to our to-do list because I forgot what we we're doing. Greasy Steve at Fission Ships, and then eggs from the sewers beneath SIT. Oh, and Ocean City. So we'll head back to Ocean City after this to get that third pound of eggs. Thanks for the fuse! Alright, Greasy Steve. You glance around to make sure nobody's watching. And slide the sack of freshly laundered meat across the table. Greasy Steve opens the sack and glances inside. Nice job, kid. Here's your payment. We got a briefcase full. He uh, picks up his briefcase, empties the sack into it, and slides the briefcase back to you. We got a briefcase full of meat. Seriously? He shrugs and goes back to stuffing his face. Great. The Don will call us. We're gonna open it. 500 meat? Nice. Okay. Alright. Uh, I guess that's it, right? What's the what's the T for to do? Right, T for quest. Floyd wants you to find some barbecue sauce. We gotta paint three fences. It's not like you had enough already. Yeah. I mean we dip below 3,000 meat, right? That that can't be a thing. Okay, we need to go to the bus stop and go back to Ocean City. Figure out how to get underground here. Do you guys remember seeing a way to get underground from Ocean City? I don't recall. Um, but he said that's where we get the fish eggs, right? Excuse you, Mr. Honky. Uh, in the sewers beneath SIT and Ocean City. That's all it says. Maybe there's a way down in... You know what? There is under the ocean. <laughs> Auga! There was a way down by the water cooler here, right? Yeah. There we go. Okay. Open the manhole cover. We're going under the underground. There we go. You step through the hole in the wall and down a short tunnel and emerge in front of a whole crowd of yelling fishmen. This almost sends you into a panic until you realize they aren't yelling at you. They're yelling at two fishmen pummeling each other in the boxing ring. Looks like you've discovered a literally underground fighting league. Okay. Rules. The first rule is glove, glove, glove. The second rule is also glove, glove, glove. They're really going at it. This guy almost looks human apart from the gill flaps and the big fishy lips. He's either commentating the boxing match or practicing to be a world-class gargler. Huh, we don't get many humans down here. Glor, glor, glor. You here to bet or to fight? Uh, ask about fighting. Glor, sure, sure, you can only rule ish. Bare knuckles only, no weapons. Plush, this is the title bout and we can't interrupt it. Sharky and Tommy have been going 21 rounds already. So if you want to fight, you gotta jump in there and beat them both for the title. <laughs> What do I get if I win? Holds up a he holds up a large harness brass championship belt, which is heavily encrusted with glistening fishman eggs, which is what we need. Okay, uh, no weapons allowed. So we'll just we'll just equip that real quick. All right, let's uh, let's fight real quick. Get in the ring. Fortunately, um, we can summon our cheese golem, and then buff it. We don't get helpers either, so I guess. Oh, physical damage. 20 physical damage? I am so glad that even though we're a cheese wizard, we're just gonna set them on fire. And then smack them. And then punch them. That feels like cheating. But we got the eggs. Plus 5 to melee weapon attacks would have been great. Let's, uh, let's equip our weapon again. Otherwise, we're gonna be in deep trouble. Uh, now we only got the one belt. You can place your bet on Sharky or Tommy up there if you want. Um, you place a, a okay, I'm, I'm not gonna do that, so we don't really need it. Uh, we will go back to SIT campus, though, for, I don't remember. Fishman eggs back to Rupert, Rufus in his lab. I should have remembered. I should have known. I don't want to fight shapes. Oh, okay, we'll deface the math. Oh, hello again. I got the eggs. Oh, great, let me just process these and- Oh, whoops, I misplaced the decimal. I only need 0.3 pounds of eggs. Well, now we've got plenty of this goop. You can keep the extra eggs. Hooray. You also need this. A municipal contraption. And now we just slather you with this foul-smelling jelly. Come back and see if you need it reapplied. Rufus's fish goo and Rufus's special rag. Yay. So we'll go down to the bridge. 
Memorize some formulas on the way. Did you get the thing underground from there? Uh, what thing underground? I know I probably... Oh, we can, we can fish. Probably, yeah. We're fishing in the box. Hot rod. Why are you honking at me? I was on the sidewalk. Frosty flakes. I can dig it. And climb down. Okay, we're under it now. Oh, translate the code. The code is I'm hiding next to the pile. I'm hiding behind the next piling to the left. Come say hello. You look behind the bridge pile and find a hobo sitting there with a fishing pole. He wasn't even particularly hiding. Weird that you didn't see him before. <laughs> well, hi there. You must have seen my note on the other piling. My name's Walter. Hi, I'm ASDF. Are you living under this bridge? For the moment, I'll probably move soon because SIT students keep throwing weird rocks down here. But it's protected from the rain and the fishing is good, so it's a pretty nice spot to camp for a while. What about the fishermen? Those fellows with the glowing eyes? They were a bit leery of me at first, but I guess they decided I was harmless. Maybe all the raw fish I've been handled and rubbed off on me. Makes sense, I guess. Uh, do you know anything? Any hobo code you could teach me? Mostly fishing related ones, but sure, everyone should know the industrial chemicals dumping spot sign in particular. Oh yeah, I bet you get weirdo weird fish in there. Got one with two butts once. You mean tails? Nope. Well, a fish should not have a butt, so a fish with two butts. Pretty amazing. <gasps> we got expert fishery. So, do you know a lot about fishing? I guess I picked up a trick or two. You looking for some pointers? Sure, that'd be great. So far, I figured out that you can hold onto the long, stiff part of the pole and dangle the sharp wire thing into the water. Well, there's a sentence that stopped being a double entendre real fast. <laughs> let's see, let's expand on that knowledge a little bit. Thanks. Um, and we'll tell them about the camp. If you're thinking of moving anyway, there's a hobo camp on the outskirts of Ocean City. They could probably use someone with your fishing acumen. Uh, just use regular tackle, but that sounds like a pretty good deal. I'll head out there directly. Heads off with a wave. Uh, adopt a bank. This section of bank is kept clean and safe by the fine folks at the SAT Chemicals Department. Uh-huh. A nasty mud hole. Is it is it is a cloaca covered in mud worse than a regular cloaca? Well, there's one way to find out. Oh, there were boots over there. Okay, we'll get them on the way out. Uh, you emerge from that disgusting hole into a slightly less disgusting cave, although let's not be unclear here, the cave is very disgusting. Wet piles of eggs litter the uneven ground and you hear a quiet, gurgly breathing sound from the other cavern. Okay, should we... Are we slimy eggs? Oh, hi. Revolting eggs. Can we not... Approach her. You hear a smooth, melodious voice speaking directly into your mind. You are a cunning and wily human to have bypassed the defenses of this place. Uh, thanks. Don't ask how I did it. I already know. Fear not. The eggs I give my children to take care of are largely non-viable. It helps keep them out of trouble if they think they have responsibilities. Why have you sought out this audience with me, human? Well, it's about the pearls. Ah, so you are a treasure hunter, are you? You who have killed six of my children, yes, I counted, have to f have the further temerity to trick your way into my lair in pursuit of material wealth. It's not like that. Your words are the ashes of one whose pants are aflame, human. I will grant you no such boon. Right, I'll come back later. Okay, let's go close this portal first. Oxygen percentage. Okay, we need to stand above the bubbles to breathe. Nope, oh, we're dead. Oh. Um, I guess I don't need to breathe in here. Nice, okay. Well, we don't need to breathe. It's fine. Let's go check out this starfish. Let's not check out the starfish. Let's just swim to the right forever. Oh, it's a grail. Oh, a throbbing ring of negative energy around a chalice-shaped object. It might be a chalice. Fumble around with the wet pliers and somehow manage to close the portal. Okay. Well, we got a chalice. That's a thing. Can we get more oxygen? No, I don't think we can. Even if we stand above the bubbles. Maybe we gotta slurp up the bubbles. No. No amount of slurping up any kind of bubbles is gonna save us from the oxygen. We just don't need it. Okay, now that we have that, we can... Did you put the diving helmet on? No. No, we'll, uh, we'll just fight for the pearl. Okay, so we've got to do this, and this, and this, and this. 
It just insta-kills everything. We'll punch her. We will... Slap all stats but minus 12. <laughs> Crazy. Wow, she's still doing so much damage even though all stats are minus 12. Okay, we'll uh, set her on fire by 6. We'll strain her. And then I, that's... Honestly, that's it. That's, that's over. We didn't need to set her on fire. We got the pearl. Not even shiny. Excellent. And then we can take this tunnel back. Uh, okay. Uh, teaming massive fishmen. Oh, right. This is just... Okay, just spam spacebar, right? That'll be fine. Yeah, minus 23 HP. We got a bucket of chum. Okay, well, that's an infinite fight area, so we don't need to do that. But we do need to get back to the bridge, so let's go here. Oh, Alphonse, good job. Good job leveling up, Alphonse. And then we need to go... Oh, thank you for the Shadow Clarinet, Alphonse. You are incredibly helpful. We need to go get those shoes. That... We can't get the shoes. Alright, we'll go to Rufus's lab. Uh, a vampire. Um, we'll fight them. Spam spacebar. Oh, that just did 11 HP to everybody? Really? Okay. Um, we'll buff our stats and then just, just attack. Oh, we didn't, we didn't need to do that. Oh, more Pollo po Diavola! Almost said Polo. I got the pearl. Don't ask me for details. That gross, huh? No questions. Well, that pearl's really a beaut. I'm gonna have to go into hardcore analysis mode for a while. I'll give you a call when I figure out the next step of my plan. Okay, what should I do with these extra fishman eggs? We got scrambled fishman eggs. Great. Gives you five regen per round. That's pretty good. Well, I can cook them for you. Pinch of lion, some muriatic acid. They're totally edible. He wisps the glistening eggs together with some chemicals and fries them over a Bunsen burner for you. I thought it was going to be some chemicals and fries, like fries on the side, but no. Nah. Ever been to the ocean at low tide? Imagine frying that smell. That's honestly just eating salmon roe. Like, I'm not a big fan, so... Okay, we don't need any potions. We've done this one, so let's see what else is on our to-do. Floyd wants you to find some barbecue sauce. Will Hunter in the Big Moist asks you to paint three dirty fences. So let's go to the swamp real quick. And we will look for fences. And we're just going to start in the top right. Right? Okay, we've already seen everything worth noticing. We'll go to the Dauphin house. We got wow, a lot of stuff from a wagon overturned. That's cool. Is there a fence here that we can paint? Is there a dirty fence? Boom! Paint that sucker. Looks pretty clean to you. And then we got to go back to the tree house. So there's another fence, but that one's not dirty. Okay. Maybe the Leather Brothers. We got a Shadow Pickle. Good job, Alphonse. Is there a dirty fence around here anywhere? Any dirty fences I can clean up? Why would there be a fence indoors? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, we'll go to the abandoned truck. Um, we're not. We're not gonna. We're not gonna fight. Okay, the truck is of no help. The wrecked riverboat, though, will tear ourselves loose. We got a swamp haunch. Nice. You think there's a fence on the longer fellow? Maybe. There could. I mean, these are all kind of fences, but also not really. Okay, I'm gonna say no, but we'll come back to it if we need to. Quite embarrassed gentleman, waist deep in swamp muck, gives you a wave. Seem to be stuck, he says, but I'm not too proud to ask for help. We'll help him. That's good, because last time we couldn't help him. Okay, that's the still where we did the gasoline thing. No fence, though. What about Flemberg? You gotta... Aww, honk! A thundering honk rattles the trees. Birds flee. Fish hide. You do not know what creature gave this honk, but you know it rules this swamp through fear. Oh, we should we should increase our moxie by one. Why is our why are our stats so low? Oh, we need uh, Rufus's rag. Yeah. Okay, that's better. Wow, that did more than one stat each, right? Because our moxie was at seven. Okay, here's a dirty fence. Paint the fence. Paint the fence. That was painting the barn, but sure, okay. One more fence. We've been there. We've been. Um, Mudhenge had a chain link fence. We've already been. I have a feeling it's gonna be the monster shack. Because we've been a largemouth bass and sons. 
Pardon me, a uh, portly man in a white linen suit sitting in a wicker chair in a flat bottom boat, being fanned by two large bats as he pulls his craft through the murky swamp water. I say, pardon me, young man, but might I prevail upon you to lend me some navigatory assistance? I consider myself a man with a sense of direction, but I must admit this bayou has got me turned right around. Well, to start with, you're f way too far west to call this swamp a bayou. Well, now, I may be just a simple con country Dracula, but I thought I could tell the difference between the bayou and some dang Yankee swamp. Have I really missed Louisville by that much? I'm afraid so. By more than 800 miles, as the bat flies. Well, Tarnation, Nation, I'll never make it to Derby at this rate, and I was looking forward to that mint julep. Reckon I'll just have to make do with a... Is your name Mary by any chance? No, it's ASDF. A bloody ASDF? Well, any porridge in the storm, as the poet says, uh, will help him out. How about instead of drinking me, you let me put a couple of navigation and velocity spells on your boat, you could still make it to the derby in time for last call. Well now, son, if you can accomplish that, I'd be right indebted to you. He cast the charm on his boat to create a strong water current. What is a bloody ASDF? It's like a bloody Mary, but it's me. <laughs> um strong water current beneath it and he zips away with a yeehaw! Navigation spells on the other hand are clearly not your thing and anyway you haven't got any idea how to get to Kentucky from here that will probably be less of a problem for him the fact that he's now traveling on running water though. Great. Is there a fence? No the whole thing is made out of fence so it translated the code it's, it says these kids are all right. Okay well that's not helpful. Largemouth bass doesn't have the right kind of thing. Oh, maybe this is where it said you can't go in the water. It gets much deeper right here. Hmm. No, not there. The Gatorman Fortress, maybe? I mean, it's made of metal. Yeah, this is made of metal. There's not going to be a fence. What about the runway? Why, why is this a thing? Why can't I go anywhere? I guess we'll wander. Oh, how strange. Okay, analyze the shale. We'll go to the quarries. Is there a fence here, please? Please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please be a fence. Um, X marks a vein of rock candy ore. This X? Oh, we don't have a pickaxe. Okay. Maybe the campsite? Um, we'll fight some vampires. Oh, it's the bats. Oh. Oh, nuts. It's them shadowy bats. Okay, that's fine though. Um, we'll strain him. Doesn't do very much damage. We'll punch him. And then this guy should finish him off now that we've buffed him. Wow, he's pretty strong. Oh. Guess we should have burned him too. I suppose the mosquito grows stronger. No, no fence here. Where haven't we been? Have we been to the frog bog? Yes, we have. No fence there. The runway might have a fence. No fence here. Mudhenge? No, Mudhenge has a chain link fence. We got a shadow salad. Increase mysticality and magic attacks by five. Now we have two of them, so we could potentially eat one. Uh, according to this, there's an old boxcar nearby, and it sank into the swamp. Well, I guess we can... Um, no, I don't want to keep fighting. We got d -vain What? What? Oh. Oh. Maybe Barbara's hut has a fence. Because we haven't been there, so. Barbara, please have a fence. Please, oh, please, oh, please have a fence. No. Oh, hobo code, though. Oh, 16. Game three, meat. Extra meat. We don't need extra meat. Oh. Do some cooking. Fancy foods? One AP regen would be really good, but I just I just don't care about the foods. Um, where else? We haven't been to Moss Rock Grotto, I guess. Well, we have to fight them or they're gonna curse us some more or something. I don't know. Summon Cheese Golem. Cheer. Skills. Attack. Attack. Oh, Buzz. Sorry, Buzz. He's having a bad day. Moss Rock Grotto has a fence. No, no fences here. The moss is twinkling for some reason. My hat is twinkling even more though. Where haven't we been? Does Will's treehouse have a fence? Is that a thing? Whoa, we just got a lot of stuff. Okay. Cool. No, there's no fence here. It wouldn't be that obvious. 
Gatorman Village maybe has a fence? Because it was like half metal. There are all these metal huts everywhere, right? Maybe it has a fence. Maybe... No, there's no fence here. There wasn't at the bus stop either. There wasn't at the abandoned truck. Uh, there wasn't at Mudhenge. Maybe the sunken boxcar? Oh, how annoying. Oh, I mean, that guy looks ginormous, so... Burn him alive. No, there's no fence here. That's the hobo that wouldn't let us have his hobo knowledge, though. Have we been everywhere now? We haven't been to... We've been to... We've been to everywhere. There wasn't another fence. We didn't go up onto the riverboat, so I guess that's the only thing. Buzz is an insect. Why are you attacking Buzz? Like, of all the people to attack. Oh, we strained him. Extra blood. There's gotta be a fence here. The side quest is super annoying. You know what? Instead of going up this whole boat, I'm just gonna look it up real quick, so give me one second. Guys, it's any fences. It doesn't have to be in the swamp, so we're gonna go to Dersh's house and paint his fence, and that'll be the third fence. Any fences. It said in the swamp, though, so... Alright, we'll go back to the swamp now. It definitely said in the swamp. But that's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, so here we go. Guess we'll fight again. Okay, we can dust or we can we can strain these guys. Only five damage, but they had less than five health, so it's all good. Oh, he's free, huh? Well, now that's funny. Earlier there wasn't an old bushy, bearded man in the treehouse, and now there is. Not ha ha funny, but perhaps ha huh, ha huh. harhap. Why, Mister, it's me. It's Will Hunter. It worked. You lifted the curse with nothing more than a paint and a brush. Uh, why are you old? Old? Will Hunter old? Ha ha! I'll tell you what, mister, you're only as old as you feel. How old do you feel? Early 70s. Well, Pat's his gaunt stomach. Suppose I packed on the years, kept on growing up while I was in that tree. Some ways I was probably better off staying a tree, cause then I could've lived just about forever, but nah, I gotta be a human. Else how would I do my mischief? What mischief? Various mischiefs. Could you give me an example? May have skipped out on Sunday school once or twice. Anything else? Stole a horse station. Never heard of a horse station, cause it ain't there no more. Are you alright? Alright, look at me, I can waggle my toes and waggle my nose. I got bones on my hips and blood on my lips. I'm a boy again. I got the old flesh back, mister, and taint never been better. That's great, Will. Only thing is, I still got tree sap coming out when I sneeze, but that's a different curse. Can I help with that one? Nah, the thing is, that curse can only be lifted with the power of imagination, which as an adult, you've lost. What will you do now? It's been a while, but I seem to remember that on the day I was supposed to whitewash that fence instead of went trout fishing, I was also due down the courthouse to help a man wrongly accused of murder. How long ago was this? July. What year? Well, I'd say 1876. It's 1928. Yikes, reckon I shouldn't stop for breakfast then. Uh, let's hope no trout distract you along the way. Why, you heard about some? Okay, July 1876. We'll go check it. Hold on now, you got me out of that tree, sir, and Will Hunter won't let that go unrewarded. Warrant? A not so shiny marble, just sell it. That's war warrant I said. I want you to have this. This is my greatest treasure, the shiniest thing Will Hunter got. A sure, a sure enough crystal. Thanks again for painting the fence. What's this? Why, that's a bona fide marble, mister. You can play with it, keep it in your pocket, or put it in your mouth to talk worse. Make like a tree and take your leaf. Okay. That wasn't worth it. That really wasn't worth it. Okay, let's look at our to-do list, though. Take the bus to Gray County and talk to Murray's friend, and Floyd wants you to find barbecue sauce. I haven't seen any, though, so I guess we'll continue on to Gray County. Chapter 5. We'll get a little bit into this, and then I know I started a little late today, but it'll probably just be a little bit of a shorter episode. So let's see what's going on. Excuse me. Hmm? He looks up at you with the squint of someone who isn't used to focusing on anything more than six inches away. Can I ask you something? I don't know a lot of conversation practice, young man, but I, last I knew it was standard to lead off with an introduction. Oh, sorry, my name's ACF. Wendelin Luguti, what's your question? 
Wendelin continues to tinker with his device. What's that you're working on? Oh, just a little thing I've been keeping myself busy with. What's it do? Nothing on account of it being broken. Typically, that's what makes such a thing interesting, but I need a replacement part, and there ain't much getting around that. What kind of part? Mainspring. Not usually a problem, but I need a counterclockwise one. Kind of rare. Uh, why not just flip a regular one upside down? Well, now, nah, ain't you clever? See that flange there? Uh, yeah? That's why. <laughs> Maybe I can find you one. Well, now, nah, I ain't expecting much, but if you manage that, I'd appreciate it. Is there a, a clock parts store nearby? I used to buy parts off a doll maker named Gilmore, but that ran Hellstrom through, bought that rat Hellstrom bought out his mortgage and foreclosed on him. Ran the fellow off without an, even a buy your leave. At least I assume that's what happened. No idea where he went. The house is still there, but it's real spooky now. Spooky? What happened? Well, nothing really. Just when there was a fellow there acting like talking dolls aren't normal, they seem normal. When he ain't there, they don't. Anyway, it's down the road a spell if you feel like having a look-see. Remember, what I need is a counterclockwise mainspring. Okay, I'll go look. Who's that Hellstrom guy you mentioned? Ah, oh, that fat cat oil baron once been going around up buying every patch of dirt big enough to drill a well into. I ain't want to talk about him. He'll get his soon enough. What's that mean? Don't mean nothing. Just an old man talking old man crap. Okay. Well, let's go off then to... Oh. Oh. Okay, well, we'll go to the Gilmore house. Something happened on the way. It's like across the street. Something happened on the way. Fairies, maybe. Oh, no. Different, though? Um, Puckwudgies? Puckwudgie Village. We got more junk mail. We need a letter over there. Nature's bounty violently extracted by this machine. Okay, let's see what this note says. There's a page of what appears to be a diary. Dorothy keeps giving me socks with holes in them. She can't possibly be trying to humiliate me deliberately, but it's far too consistent to be random chance. We got a plowshare. Okay. Oh, what is this? The door says Belgrand Bombproof Shelter Co. And it has a serious combination lock. No bomb's gonna guess this one. Okay. Combination lock. Think it's here? Nah, it's, there's no code in there. Okay, well, there's talking dolls, sunflower, there's a loose page from a diary. Edith's violin is too loud for me to relax at night, but if I take it away, she screeches horribly. I wonder if I can find her a smaller one. Work out? Are we gonna get a perk right now? Just lift the bar nine times and you're done. She gained 15 XP, can we do it again? An animate doll doing a workout routine? I'm sure it's fine and nothing to worry about. Yeah, just a bunch of creepy glass eyes. Book of children's horror stories on this childless man's table. Maybe it's for the dolls. Spooky. Oh, spooky armor. We need a lot of that. Because we keep, um... Yeah, we'll get, we'll get ten. Because it's... Where's our character sheet? How much armor do we have? Spooky armor is eight now. Yeah, we keep needing armor and it just, yeah. Doesn't work very well. Uh, dire someone's wall. Must correct Velma's mechanism so she'll squeeze the toothpaste from the end of the tube instead of the middle. I'm losing a fortune and wasted paste. Well, you don't just throw it out when you can't squeeze it from the middle. You squeeze it up from the bottom and then continue to squeeze wherever your heart desires. Okay. Um, we flushed the toilet. One of those newfangled plastic handle toilet brushes you read about. Wow, that's pretty good. A uh, page from a diary. Something's defective with Ruth. She's doing twice as much of everything as she ought to be. I must have gotten her gear ratios wrong. It takes three minutes to brush your t -t teeth clean. If you don't brush for three full minutes, something bad happens. Brush for three minutes. Okay. Uh, guess we'll fish in the bathtub. So the dolls are saying numbers. It was three minutes. It was nine reps. I'm not going to keep fishing. Eight pages. Um, warm hand. Ooh. Ooh, three cold armor. Nice. Ah, excuse me. Four eggs. Uh, I'm stuck in a rut. Every day is the same routine. Eat breakfast, get dressed, brush my teeth, exercise, work on my novel, go to bed, over and over. Always the same. I thought the dolls would help, but they've only made things worse. I feel like I might go crazy. In fact, that sounds like a pretty good idea. I think I'll start right now. We got fruity ice pops. Nice. Okay. Got a box of cereal. Seems pretty good. Oh, counterclockwise mainspring. Brilliant. Okay, so eight, nine, three, four. 
and eight. It's all size chemistry set. Oh, we could probably put that on uh, the tiny table. I don't feel well. I think Gladys put something in my coffee, not just eggs, like she always does accidentally. I believe this is purposeful. Perhaps I shouldn't have based their mechanisms on that strange old doll I found. Grace. I wonder where she went. Well, there's a back door here. Two socks. If you're quick, you can probably grab those socks without getting eaten by that creepy doll. We got fancy dress socks. Nice. And a diary. Abigail loosened the pins on my barbell. I nearly dropped it on my head. She's definitely trying to kill me. I think they all are. Hellstrom can have the house and the main property. I'm going into hiding. First, I'm going to tack all these pages all over the house to make it clear that I'm insane. And then I'm going to live in my bomb shelter. Scratch that. It's a doll shelter now. Huh. Okay. All pants. The shirts must be in a different place. Hello, <laughs> dresser. Address the dresser. Okay, so two, four... Eight eight nine. Uh two three four eight eight nine. So I don't know the order. There's nothing that would specify any kind of order here. Two three four eight eight nine. So I'm gonna look it up real quick because these puzzles with the combinations have just been so far they've all been guess and check. Um in some kind of terrible guess and check. Alright, looked it up. Four, two, three, nine. Should have gone the other way. Four, eight. Okay, you hear a click from inside the massive steel door. So, there was a note about his schedule that corresponded to the doll's activities, which was the order of them, except that Ruth is defective, so it could have been any number. Uh, which, I'll give it to him. The any number thing is pretty frustrating, even after you solve the puzzle, but uh, everything else would have been okay, I suppose. The man cringes and backpedals frantically as you approach. S stay back! How did you get in here? Did the dolls send you? Um, no, calm down. The dolls didn't send me. Then who are you? What do you want? My name's ASDF. You must be Gilmore. Wendelin sent me over to see if you had a counterclockwise mainspring you can use. I already found it, but I thought maybe I should check in on you here. You, you've been in the house? You've seen the... Dolls? Ah! Look, they're a bit creepy, I guess, but they're not that bad. They're just dolls. They're trying to kill me! Yeah, I saw your diary pages, but honestly, I think you're overreacting. Diary? Oh, you mean my novel? Novel? Yes, I've been writing an epistolary novel in diary form about a toy maker who goes crazy because he thinks his dolls are trying to kill him. Huh. And he nails the pages of his diary around the house and hides in a bomb shelter in his yard? Right, exactly! Okay, so you aren't actually scared of your dolls, you're just acting it out, like method writing? No, no, the, dars, the dolls are trying to kill me, just like in the novel. I'm not a psychologist, but I think you might be suffering from extreme confusion. You aren't the guy in the novel, you're the guy writing the novel. That's two different guys. The dolls aren't trying to kill you. Are, are you sure? You just freaked yourself out by writing a scary book with circumstances similar to your own, that's all. Maybe you're right, okay. Okay, I'll come out just as soon as I finish the last chapter. Alright, good luck. Uh, the last diary entry is unfinished, but seems to be about the protagonist huddling in a bomb shelter waiting for the dolls to come get him. Okay. Go through the rift. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 boy. It's gonna be doll, right? It's gotta be. Play with D-O-L. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, no. S. <laughs> it's a five-letter word. Uh, oh, and the letters disappeared? Hang on. Maybe we just do all the letters, because... The right ones will come back, right? It's block. Got a beret? A hat? Something? I think it's a hat. Oh, we didn't even get it though, whatever it is. Gilmore fidgets nervously. Well, we closed a rift. I feel like this is going to help us in the end of the game. Alright, let's go back to the feed store real quick that we got there. Found an abandoned truck parked on the side of the road with its hood open. It's old peeling bumper sticker says, I'd rather be fishing. Underneath that, someone's written, screw it, I'm going fishing. Most of the engine's gone, plus the doors and the entire glove box, but somehow there's still a toolbox in the back. We got self-adhesive rivets. Disposable Ratchet. Increase an ally stats by three uh, combat item. Okay. We'll talk to 
this guy with the W name. I did, here you go. Well, I'll be, thank you kindly. Seeing as you've proven yourself the helpful sword, I'll have them let you in the store. Pretty much all of us around here got a thing or two that could use doing. Swell. If that was sarcasm, I hear you. He gets up and knocks an old pattern, an odd pattern on the door to the feed store and you hear someone inside removing the bar. We didn't even try to go in yet, so. I met that Gilmore guy. Oh, how's he doing? He was hiding in his bomb shelter because he thought his dolls were trying to kill him. That's a shame. Figures though, don't ever put a face on a machine. People get confused too easy. Even just giving one a name is a bad idea. Guess so. Well, be seeing ya. Well, with this epic music, and with that conclusion of the dolls trying to kill him, and us having to look it up again, uh, that takes us to the end of today's episode. So thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for coming on by. If you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe. It's one or two clicks for you, it really helps me out a ton. And as always, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.